Hey, want to be rich? Learn how to sell. Want to be happy? Learn how to sell. Want both? Learn how to sell. And also subscribe to this channel and we'll take care of it for you by giving you the life-changing value in some of the best books on the planet in just a few minutes. Today's video is about a book that fits that criterion, and lucky for you, it teaches how to sell. So follow along and wear that rich and happy smile of yours. You might start attracting some already. Now let's get real for a moment. Selling is not just about transactions and retail. Oh no, my friend, selling is a way of life, a superpower that can open doors you never thought possible. Think about it. Whether you're convincing your friends to go on that epic road trip, negotiating a killer deal on your dream car, or even selling your ideas to a room full of skeptics, selling is the key to getting what you want. And today, we're diving into a book that will unleash your inner sales titan. Get ready for Sell or Be Sold by the master of sales himself, Grant Cardone. In this game-changing masterpiece, Grant Cardone spills the beans on his 25 years of experience in the sales trenches. Brace yourself for an explosion of knowledge that will revolutionize how you approach selling, both professionally and personally. By the time we're done, you'll have a winning mindset, killer strategies, and the charisma of a born sales champion. Trust me, with this book in your arsenal, you'll be attracting success like a magnet. Still watching? See what I just did there? I just sold you to watch this video with whatever I said so far. So let's quit playing around and jump in, shall we? The first key takeaway from this book is that you must truly believe in and be completely convinced of what you're selling or trying to convince others of in general life. If you're not fully convinced, someone else will persuade you why it's not the best thing to sell. Before selling to anyone else, make sure you're able to sell yourself first. Your level of conviction determines your ability to sell to others. If you're completely sold on your product or service, it will be easier to persist with people because you'll come from a positive and passionate place rather than using pressure. This point is crucial for achieving greatness, and it's non-negotiable. You have to strongly believe in what you're selling to the point of being unreasonable. Conviction means firmly holding a belief. And it comes from the Latin word convict, meaning to conquer. Conviction is about staying so firm in your beliefs that you demonstrate complete certainty to your buyers, making other choices seem unavailable. You can make a sale when your conviction and belief are stronger than the other person's, leading them to give up some of their conviction. That's when a sale happens. Why do some people do things that others wouldn't even consider? It's because they are completely sold on the idea and are unreasonable in their pursuit. They succeed because of their unwavering belief. So if you want to be successful in sales, align yourself with a product or service that you are 100% sold on. The same principle applies to life in general. The second important lesson from sell or be sold is the shift from being solely focused on the sales aspect to prioritizing the people aspect of your business. Regardless of what you're selling, it is ultimately people who are buying it. You may have heard the saying that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. This highlights the significance of genuinely caring about the individuals you interact with before prioritizing the sale itself. In sales, it's crucial to recognize that your primary objective should be to help people. Instead of solely focusing on closing deals, the emphasis should be on building meaningful connections and understanding the customer's needs. By genuinely caring and demonstrating empathy, you can establish a foundation of trust and rapport, making the sales process more effective and enjoyable for both parties involved. A successful sale occurs when you are able to connect your product or service as the solution to the customer's problems or desires. It's about providing value and demonstrating how your offering can genuinely benefit their lives. By shifting your mindset to a people-centric approach, you can create a win-win situation where the customer receives a valuable solution and you experience the satisfaction of genuinely helping someone. Remember, it's essential to transition from being solely in the sales business to embracing the people business. By prioritizing the human aspect, you can foster deeper relationships, gain a better understanding of your customers' needs, and ultimately achieve greater success in sales and in life. 
Now pay attention to this next rule. The main lesson from this book is about maintaining a positive attitude. Some people may think they've heard this advice before and dismiss it as obvious. However, it's crucial not to overlook its importance. Many people understand the concept of a positive attitude, but they struggle to put it into practice. Here are some tips for cultivating a great attitude. First, avoid negative influences like TV, radio, and newspapers. Stay away from people who have a negative mindset, complain, and don't take action toward their goals. Surround yourself with individuals who support your aspirations and share your positive outlook. Next, communicate your goals and expectations to the people in your life. Let them know where you're headed and how they can contribute to your success. Encourage and support your loved ones in achieving their own dreams as well. Another technique is to start a negativity diet right away. Make a commitment to eliminate negative ideas, talk, and thoughts from your life. Challenge any negative thoughts that arise and consciously replace them with positive ones. Practice redirecting your mind towards positivity whenever negativity creeps in. Grant Cardoni emphasizes in the book that nothing in life brings greater rewards than maintaining a positive attitude. A positive outlook is invaluable and can have a profound impact on your life and the lives of others. So make a conscious effort today to uplift yourself and those around you by fostering a great attitude. The next huge concept is show don't tell. It's a great communication skill to have in your bag as it holds tremendous value when it comes to influencing others. People tend to believe what they see, which is evident in the prevalence of fake news on social media platforms. Despite its inaccuracies, individuals are easily swayed because they can visually perceive it. Similarly, when you're presenting a pitch, making a sale, or trying to convince someone, it's crucial to go beyond mere verbalization. Instead of solely relying on words, employ visual aids to enhance understanding and convey your message effectively. Write it down, create diagrams or illustrations, or use analogies that resonate with your audience. By providing a visual representation of your ideas, you enable the customer or individual you're engaging with to better grasp how your proposition aligns with their needs and acts as a solution to their problems. Visual communication goes beyond spoken or written words, allowing your audience to absorb information on multiple levels. It engages their senses, making the message more memorable and compelling. Whether it's through infographics, charts, or storytelling, visual representation captures attention, clarifies complex concepts, and builds a stronger connection between your offering and the customer's requirements. By employing visual aids, you paint a vivid picture in the minds of your audience, enabling them to envision the positive outcomes and benefits associated with your product or service. This approach fosters a deeper understanding and emotional connection, increasing the likelihood of successful persuasion and a favorable response. Now you can call this next one a magic trick, a psychic mind game, or a psychological trick, but it sure as hell works every time. Agree with the other person. Not only customer is king, but anybody you communicate with is, at least in the beginning, so you can shortly plug in your suggestion because now they're ready to receive it and would be more likely to buy. Let me explain how. The lesson here is to prioritize agreement and rapport building when interacting with customers or individuals you're trying to sell to. By agreeing with them, you create a positive and receptive environment where disagreement is less likely to arise. When you begin by aligning with their perspective, it lowers tension and defensiveness, making them more open to hearing your suggestions or proposals. Agreeing with the customer is a powerful strategy to establish a connection and build trust. By demonstrating that you understand and respect their point of view, you create a sense of empathy and validation. This leads to a stronger bond between you and the customer, making them more inclined to listen to your ideas and consider your recommendations. When you show agreement, you create a favorable impression. People naturally gravitate toward others who are similar to them or share similar opinions. By mirroring their viewpoint, you enhance likability and foster a sense of camaraderie. This, in turn, opens their ears wider, increasing their receptiveness to your message. In addition, when customers feel heard and acknowledged, they are more likely to engage in a productive conversation. 
By being open and attentive to their concerns or preferences, you create a collaborative atmosphere. This allows for a smoother transition when presenting your suggestions or solutions, as they will be more receptive to your insights and ideas. Now, this video might turn into a motivational pep talk, but it's what Grant Cardone is all about. So listen up, folks. This lesson is all about taking massive action. None of that passive stuff, all right? If you're serious about achieving greatness, living the life of your dreams, becoming a top-notch salesperson, or even being convincing when it comes to sharing your passion and livelihood, you've got to step up and take massive action. No half-hearted efforts here. Let me break it down for you. If you dare to dream big and believe that you can make those dreams a reality, then you better be ready to back it up with some serious action. I'm talking about going all in, giving it your absolute best, and leaving no stone unturned. Taking massive action means going above and beyond what is expected or required. It's about pushing yourself to the limits and stretching beyond your comfort zone. Taking massive action is the fuel that propels you toward your goals. It's what separates the achievers from the dreamers. It's not enough to just have grand aspirations and wishful thinking. You've got to put in the work, sweat, and tears. It's about showing up every day with determination, grit, and a relentless drive to succeed. When you take massive action, you're showing the world that you mean business. You're demonstrating your commitment and dedication to your goals. It's like saying, I'm here, and I'm ready to give it my all. It's about taking risks, embracing challenges, and seizing opportunities. You're not waiting around for success to fall into your lap. No way! You're grabbing it by the horns and making things happen. Now Grant leaves us with a last, often ignored tip, which is, and guess what? It's easier than you might think. Many salespeople often overlook the power of their existing connections, the friends, family, and even acquaintances in their lives. But let me tell you, building your power base is like building a strong network that's ready to support you. So how do you do it? Well, it starts by reaching out to the people you love and those who are close to you. You know, those folks who have always had your back. Let them in on what you're up to, what you're pitching, and what you're selling. They're the ones who can be your biggest cheerleaders and the first to support you. But don't stop there. Extend your reach to those who may be a bit more on the acquaintance side. Maybe you've had a few chats or crossed paths with them before. Don't underestimate the power of these connections. Reach out, let them know about your exciting venture, and see if they might be interested in what you have to offer. Building your power base is all about leveraging the people you already know and trust. These are the individuals who are more likely to give you a chance, spread the word, and even become your loyal customers. They already have a level of familiarity and trust with you, so it's easier to get your foot in the door. Think about it. When you're starting out on a new venture, who better to support you than the people who genuinely care about your success? They want to see you thrive, and by reaching out to them first, you're creating a foundation of support that can propel you forward. So, my friends, don't underestimate the power of your existing connections. Build your power base by tapping into the love and support of your friends, family, and even acquaintances. Let them be the first to experience what you have to offer and watch as your network expands and your business thrives. It's time to leverage the power of your relationships and build a solid foundation for success. It's also time for us to part ways until the next video with the next book. If you want that to happen, like the video and comment your thoughts, you're allowed to do it outside of Twitter, you know? See you next time.